I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of these videos about these 20 step skincare routines that tell you to go to Sephora and buy a bunch of these products. And then once you start using this 20 step skincare routine, you find that it does not do anything for your skin. If anything, your skin might have actually gotten worse from using this 20 step skincare routine. If you have more than five steps in your skincare routine, odds are you're wasting your time and your money because there's just absolutely no way that all 20 of those steps are necessary and they're just gonna benefit your skin. You only really need five steps at most and even five steps is pushing it. My skincare routine that took me from having skin like this to this, it consisted of a three to five step skincare routine and nothing more than that. And I've been using this three to five step skincare routine for the last year. So if you constantly feel this need to buy new skincare products, let me tell you why you shouldn't. The first thing is once you find a good routine, you don't need to buy any more new products. I personally have found a three to five step skincare routine that works for me. And because of this, I haven't found any need to switch my skincare routine because the skincare routine that I already have addresses the issues that I have. The only issues I really struggle when it comes to my skin are acne and sometimes hyperpigmentation, but my skincare routine does a great job at dealing with that. So there's no point in me switching that up. The only reason I would switch up my skincare routine and buy new products is maybe if I have a new issue to address. For example, if I get older and I have these wrinkles, I might have to buy a new product to address that issue. But I'm 19 years old, so there's no point in me doing that. And this is why I don't think skincare should be a hobby because you shouldn't constantly be trying these new products on your face. That's just not good for you. Find a routine that works for you and stick with it. You don't need to buy a bunch of new products to add into your routine for no reason. There's just no point in doing that. Because if you continue buying a bunch of these products, it becomes an addiction. I remember when I struggled with acne, one of the biggest contributors was because I was trying so many products on my skin. Every time I saw acne on my face, I felt the need to buy a new product. I remember in the span of two months, I had tried five new products. That is just a crazy amount. You should not be trying this many products in such a small amount of time. I was using salicylic acid cleansers, benzoyl peroxide cleansers, adapalene, tretinoin. I tried all of that and my skin just became so much worse. But the reason it becomes so addicting is because every time you buy that new product, you have hope that it's gonna help your skin out. But many of the times that expectation falls short and you end up cooking your skin. So now this addiction isn't just making your skin worse. Now your pockets are gonna go broke because you're buying a new cleanser every week. And if you're a broke college student like me, you don't even have the funds to do that. We're just trying to get some food on the table. So really just avoid buying skincare products for the most part. Maybe you can buy every once in a while, but it definitely shouldn't be a weekly purchase type thing. I sort of understand the addiction though. Every once in a while, I go out and buy a new product. Recently, I tried this La Roche-Posay cleanser. It's this one right here, the Gentle Foaming Moisturizing Wash. I tried it for like three days and I thought it was going well. And then suddenly I realized my skin was getting very red and dry and irritated. So yeah, now I just have a cleanser that I don't even use anymore because it cooked my skin. Hit me up if any of you guys want it. And that takes me to my next point that many of these products that you go out and buy, they won't even work for your skin. And actually a lot of them make your skin worse and you don't even realize it. One of the biggest examples of this are cleansers. I found that cleansers really don't do much for my skin personally. But for so long, I thought that using a cleanser was one of the three necessary things you need in the skincare routine. But actually for many people, cleansers aren't necessary. Using something like a simple bar soap or maybe even just water itself is a good enough cleanser. For most people, you don't actually need to go out and drop $20 on a cleanser because it won't really do much for your skin. In fact, ever since I stopped using cleansers and only use water to wash my face, I actually found that my skin has actually improved. And this is because now my skin is less prone to dryness, so my skin is a lot more vibrant. And then there's people on the other side of the spectrum using double cleansers. They use an oil and a water-based cleanser. Now, there is scientific research that oil cleansers will do better at removing sunscreen than makeup. However, there's also people that like double cleanse, but they don't even realize that it's making their skin worse because their skin is prone to dryness. So yes, cleansing and double cleansing can be used to benefit your skin, but at the same time, it's a double-edged sword because it can cause dryness and irritation to the skin, which will make your skin worse. Another example of skincare products making your skin worse are things like salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. Now, salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide are great ingredients for fighting acne. However, you need to realize that these ingredients are not going to work for everyone. So if you've been using a salicylic acid cleanser for an entire month and you've realized your skin has gotten worse and worse. Newsflash, your skin is probably not going to get any better, so throw that John away. And a lot of people will continue using a product that has made their skin worse just because they think it's the purging phase. But I'm telling you right now, when it comes to salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide, you should not be purging for more than a month. Once it's hit that one month period and your skin has only gotten worse, Honestly, just throw that product away. You do not need it. Because I'm telling you right now, that purging phase is not a purging phase. It's just not gonna go away. The only exception is something like a retinoid, like tretinoin or different. That can actually take at least three months before you start to see improvements. But other than that, if you've been using a product for at least a month and you've noticed that it hasn't yielded any results, then honestly, just cut that ingredient out, cut that product out, throw it away in the trash can. But if you didn't listen to my advice and you just continued buying all these skincare products and you found that none of these have worked for you, well, let me just tell you, going to a dermatologist is a better solution than buying all these skincare products. Dermatologists will prescribe you a medication that 99 times out of 10, 
99 times out of 100 will definitely work for you. And that's because dermatologists will give you products that have ingredients that are clinically proven to work. For example, if you absolutely need to and you get prescribed Accutane, 85% of patients that get onto Accutane end up getting clear skin permanently. And that's only just after one round of treatment. And the success rate is just gonna be so much higher than buying a random Korean milk tea, boba tea, lychee tea, cleanser, or whatever. When it comes to skincare, you honestly just can't be a dermatologist. Now yeah, seeing a dermatologist is gonna be pretty expensive, but so is going to Sephora every single week to buy a new skincare product. I swear, people will be dropping bands at Sephora, like it's crazy. Like at that point, you might as well just see a dermatologist. It's gonna be cheaper anyways, and it'll give you way better results. But yeah, that's basically it. I appreciate you guys. Follow me on Instagram at choice.yt and DM me for skincare advice. I appreciate y'all, I already said that, but peace.